Hi, it's Bob the Tolman here and today I'm going to do unboxing and assembling of this Black & Decker 1200W BMW 451 lawnmower. This lawnmower is supposed to be for a small uh, nose up to 300 square meters which Black & Decker declares that it's for one and a half times of the tennis court. So let's start unboxing this product. Top part of the grass box collector, which Blake Maker declares that it's for 35 liters. Also here we have the the box uh, indicator that indicates how the box is for how much grass there is inside. We have the top handles. The bottom part of the grass box collector. Of course all the screws, knobs and the instruction manual. And actual long one. So what you can see here, it's pretty much pre-assembled. So what do we need to do? It's to assemble the grass box collector and the handles. two lower handles that goes in this hole here so in this hole here and here so you need to put them as far as they go just need to These two screws are what we were looking for here. We need those to tighten the screws here to this part on the handle. We for this operation we will need a screwdriver.
Okay. So this is part one. Part one with the lower handle. Now we need to install the top handle, which goes here. So these are the two screws and nuts and washers that need to tighten the top part of the lawn board. So we need to unscrew this all the way down, both of them. like this and now we're gonna assemble the top part of the handle the screw the washer and the wing nut now here on the handle we have two holes these two holes depends on which one you can put the screw uh, the, depending on the height you like to be on the handle in this case we're gonna use the top part uh, the top part of the handle has two holes which are for mounting the starter so remember this side to be on the right side of your lawnmower in this case uh, I'm gonna put the screw here it has a fork here that fits perfectly in the hole so it doesn't slip when you tighten and I'm gonna put the screw in the top hole now from the inside I'm gonna put the washer and then I'm gonna tighten the wing up I'm gonna repeat the same thing for the left side. So I'm gonna put first screw. Put in the hole, put the washer, and then the ring line. Now when we have completed these two steps of mounting the top part and the bottom part of the handle, we are going to install the starter. The starter should be installed on the top part of the lawnmower here. So the plastic part here need to go from the bottom side and the starter should go from the upper side what we need to do is fit these two plastic pins in this hole here and squeeze it all the way down This. For this operation, we will need these two screws and a screwdriver. And this goes in the bottom part like this.
So we need this to be really, really tight. These two are plastic holders for the cable so we can install like this to the outside or from the inside. I think it's better from the inside. Well, now pretty much uh, one more. It's all set up. We need to um, set up the grass collection box. But let's check to see how do you adjust the height. This lawnmower has a 20 to 60 millimeter height, which is XO, which is not very convenient to. Uh, adjust the height. You have to first unplug the lawnmower, wait until the motor stop completely stop, so you don't have the spinning of the knife anymore. And then you have to you have to you need to adjust by pulling one and then the other. So which is not very. These are three different heights you can adjust. Now it's in the middle. It's. Now it's the maximum the 60 and then it's 40 and this is the 20, this is the lower part. Which this is the system I don't like really much. The same thing it goes for the real wheels. You have to adjust the height like this. So this is the highest position, 60 millimeters. So when you set up your one more take in consideration that you have to set up both of the wheels on the same height so it goes in 40 and 40 in the middle of depends of your needs it's uh, quite heavy around 9.3 kilos that's what it's declared the handle it's very convenient for carrying and uh, here we have a glass combs so you can long up to the edge of the your long. So these are like a, the combs for the grass combs. It has them on the on the both side. Both sides. Now let's assemble the grass box collector. This is the lower part. It's plastic, not very hard, and not very strong, but it doesn't have to be. Now this is the top part, the bottom part, and you need to fit this. So we complete this part, we have assembled the box, 
what we need to do is install the handle. The handle is not that difficult to install because there is one part that needs to be up front here in the hole. So what you do is just fit here and here and push it. There we go. So we have complete the collector box, grass collector box. Here when you start the lawnmower, this part open, which is the indicator. It's the indicator. How much is the grass box for? Now let's see how we can install this. Lift to detach, lift it all the way. Now this part here is kind of tricky, which I really don't like. So we need to pull this all the way up and this should go smoothly, but it doesn't here and here. Now see it. It's very cheap solution. I really don't like it. If you know what I mean. Here, one more time. Okay, detach. Maybe after some time you use it, it's gonna be easier. But for start. getting better after a few times so how do you start your lawnmower it's very easy there's one switch button handle which actually when you click it should start the lawnmower but first you need to plug in so we plug in the power push the button So this was Black & Decker, 1200 watts, 32 cm cutting diameter with a 35 liter grass collector box. Maybe you like it, maybe you don't. It's not the best model, but it's not quite cheapest model, but it should do the trick. And Loan around 300 square meters of your lawn garden. Thank you for watching, and uh, I see you in my next video.